I've purchased three different camera cages for the GH6. And I just wanted to do a quick comparison and just kind of talk through my experience so far. So I'll start with the small rig 3784, which is this one. So in my opinion, this cage is unusable. And the reason for that is when I attached it to the camera, there was way too much play in it. And once I screw the bottom part, as well as the one, the screw that goes into the eyelet, I couldn't open the battery door. So there's space for the battery door, but this cage doesn't sit correctly on the camera. So it's a tiny bit to the side, it's at an angle, and there's nothing I can do about that because essentially there's only two screws that I can screw into the camera, the bottom screw and the screw here, which goes into the eyelet. So once I've screwed those on, the battery compartment door can't be opened. So to me, this is useless. But apart from that, the, this camera cage is fine. The only other thing I would mention is that GH6 does have a place for a locator pin, which this camera cage doesn't have. So this is the small rig 3784. Inside the camera cage, there's a soft part on the top, a soft part two soft parts on the right hand side, one there and one rectangular one here and also a soft square on the bottom but there's no soft parts on the left hand side and all the top part seems fine, you have quarter inch 20 screws, 3 8 inch 16 screws with locating pins and you have 6 quarter inch 20s there, you have a cold shoe here, you have place for for hand strap and on the right hand side you have 3 8 inch 16 with locator pins and 3 quarter inch 20s and on the left hand side you have 3 8 inch 16 and quarter inch 20 again you have them with locator pins as well and there's two places for screw to screw the HDMI and USB cable protector there and on the bottom you have this wrench or uh, screwdriver whatever you want to call it and it's uh, both this is magnetic and the tip of this is magnetic as well it's a, it's a weak one but it's a nice thing to have so like, you can essentially tighten this screw here this flat screw and you can also tighten the m2.5 screw which goes into the eyelet of the camera and on the bottom you only have quarter inch 20 screws and the one at the back has two locating pinholes so it, this is should be good for gimbals but essentially to me this camera cage is useless if i can't open the battery door nothing else really matters and one more thing i forgot to mention is on the front you have this ledge which should help the camera sit in place and there's actually two soft parts there as well so even though it has this ledge to help the camera sit in place and this screw as well as the eyelet screw it, the camera still won't sit in the right place and on the front there you have two screws as well for I don't know like a lens adapter support so yeah I this is this is the worst cage I've ever really worked with so I don't think I have much more to say about this I mean it's light but everything is irrelevant if I can't open the battery door now this cage is the small rig black mambo cage for the Panasonic Lumix GH6. And the top design is identical to this other small rig cage. So you have six uh, quarter inch 20s, one three eight inch 16 with the locating pins. I think they've put too many holes there because once you attach a top handle there, there isn't actually space to attach anything else so putting all these holes there has just weakened the structural integrity of this cage this part it doesn't have anything here so if you compare it to this one so this one had three quarter inch 20s there this one doesn't have anything so it stays out of the way for if you want to press buttons but the downside is that you don't have any cold shoe or quarter inch 20 to attach anything there 
And another thing about the structural integrity that I mentioned, it has too many holes there that are actually useless, is once you attach heavy equipment to this and you put the top handle on, once you try to use the top handle, you, you see that there is some flex in this. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flex it now to make the point, but there is flex if you put heavy equipment, heavy lens and uh, other peripherals on it. So I don't recommend using this with heavy equipment. This has the hand strap locations here and here. Again, very similar to, to the other small rig. So 3 8 inch 16 with the pin holes and the quarter inch 20. Uh, a cold shoe on this side, similar to this. And place for the neck straps, again, similar to that. And again, it has the place to screw in the eyelet to make it more secure. And it has 3 8 inch 16 and quarter inch 20s with pinholes as well. And on this side, you have a NATO rail. Uh, there's no NATO rail on top. Uh, and here you have two screws, again, similar to this. Two location for screws to mount a cable protector. And the bottom of this cage is slightly different. So you have the same tool, but here you have quarter inch 20 with two locator pins in the front, another two quarter inch 20s and a 3 8 inch 16 on the back. So I think that's nice to have a 3 8 inch 16. But one of the things that some people complain about is that the 3 8 inch 16 hole is at the back as opposed to the front, which makes it imbalanced. So if, if you put this cage on a monopod with a 3 8 inch 16 on this side and you have a heavy lens, all the weight is in front. Whereas if it was there, then the weight would be more balanced. But I think the reason they put these quarter inch 20s holes there is because they want to make it more usable for gimbals. So I think this is the compromise they've made, gimbals over monopods. Whereas if you look on the GH5 cage, the 3 8 inch 16 thread is in front and the quarter inch 20 is at the back. So I guess times have changed and people use gimbals more than monopods. So that might explain the reasoning behind uh, the arrangement here. And yeah, the bottom of these uh, both are Arco Swiss compatible and you have a bit of carbon fiber there. In terms of padding, you have, a, you have some padding here on top. You have a little bit of padding there as well on top there. I don't know if you can see this. And there is no padding on the left hand side. Whereas on the right hand side, there's a tiny bit of padding there. And on the bottom, there's a square pad. And there's two ledges and they have a tiny bit of padding as well, which press against the camera. Again, another disappointing thing about this cage as well is that they haven't made use of the locating pin for the GH6. So GH6 has this locating pin and that's something I think anyone who makes a cage for the GH6 should take into account and that makes it sit more securely in its position. In terms of Black Mamba, apart from the weakened structural integrity here and this design makes it flex. So I think if they had put some metal going from the top to the bottom here, that would have reduced the flex. And also this cold shoe, in my opinion, should have one of those release buttons so that when you put something in, it locks in place and it doesn't fall out. Let me actually just show you an example of what I mean. So this is a cold shoe and you put something in and there's a bit that comes up and puts, makes it secure. And when you want to take it out, you have to press this button on the side. So once you press it, then it can slide out whatever you have in there. So the advantage of this is that you're not going to drop whatever you attach to the cold shoe. And I think this should be by default on camera cages, so you don't actually need to get a separate you know, piece of equipment and attach it to the cage. Another thing I want to mention about this cage is that on the right hand side, you can see that this bit curves up. So you can't have your last finger get a grip on it, which is a shame because they've taken up the space up to here anyway. So curving it up this direction doesn't make the cage any smaller. It just means you won't be able to make use of the grip. So if they had just had it a bit more square here, you would have been able to use the grip with your last finger on the 
camera cage and I think it's the same with this cage as well so this cage has the same problem so I think overall this cage is usable it's not like the other small rig one but it has some flaws and some things that could be worked on including the cold shoe removing the flex maybe putting a more you know stable metal from this direction and the metal would have to be curved anyway but I don't think small rig would have any problem creating curved metals because they've done it here so they could also do it here and navigate around the buttons and anything else of the camera to make it more solid and also they need to add a pin here for the anti-twist uh, location of the GH6 so the other thing about this cage is that because it doesn't have enough mounting points at the top you can only use one of these once you put something there's nothing there's no room for anything else apart from a handle or one thing here so you have a mounting point there, a cold shoe there, but there's nothing on this side. So I think they could have made this a little bit bigger if they don't want to put anything here. So at least you have two mounting points. Yeah, so that's with this. Now, I think I prefer the tilter one to the other two. And there's a few reasons for that. First of all, you have a NATO rail on top of tilter cage, which you don't have on the other two small rig cages. So here you can see the small rig cage and um, I mean I don't I don't even know if it's worth me talking about this cage anymore because it's completely useless in my opinion but yeah I just leave it here for the time being so you have the NATO rail and you have quarter inch 20s with locating pins and then you have a cold shoe as well so this is quite interesting so you can use the cold shoe or you can use the quarter inch 20 or you can use handles that are specifically designed with cold shoe and quarter inch 20 which is the tilt handles and then on the right hand side here you have a cold shoe and on the left hand side you have a cold shoe and in addition to that on the left hand side you have another quarter inch 20 there so there's a lot of options to mount things on top of the camera so you could put a microphone here some small light here and then you can have your handle and then you know the screen or recorder on top there and then on the side very similar to the small rig ones it has the location for the hand uh, strap and uh, quarter inch 20s with locating pins the one thing i would say about tilter they seem to be using quarter inch 20 more than 3 8 inch 16 so on the small rig you see 3 8 inch 16 with locating pins whereas on the tilter you see more quarter inch 20 with locating pins in fact i don't think there's any 3 8 inch 16 threads on this cage at all um, yeah none that i can see yeah and then on the left hand side again you have the i think this is a this is also a nato rail and then you have the quarter inch 20 threads and you have the rosette and on the front you have again i think this is quarter inch 20 as well here on the, on the front quarter inch 20 with locating pins and on the bottom here again you have quarter inch 20 with locating pins and then two screws there for mounting I don't know, lens support or adapter lens adapter support the complaint that i had about the small rig i also have it about this tilter where this bit curves upwards so you can't use use the extra grip so the thing is these cages take up the space to here so this curving upwards doesn't make any difference uh, apart from aesthetics it might look nicer but i, I would rather have you know some extra space and some of the elements that you get for various cameras they actually go straight and around the same shape as the grip so you get like about half a centimeters of extra grip here which is really nice and then it would still be hollow so that you can still take the battery out but you would get that extra grip for your last finger now the thing about the tilter cage is that there is actually locating pin on it so let me show this uh, here I need to I need to unscrew unscrew the eyelet before I can take the cage out and on the bottom here so this is the screw for the quarter inch 20 on the camera okay so this screw is completely loose but what you can see is that the camera is still sitting quite fit and tight in there because of that locating pin so let me just show this 
So there's the locating pin. So this one goes, this is the quarter inch 20 screw and then the locating pin there. So you've got both of these. So this is really useful. And in terms of padding, on the tilter one, you have this whole area is padded, both the bottom and the front part. And on the right hand side, there is no padding and no padding on the left hand side. And on the top, there is a rectangular padding there. So if you can see this, yeah, that's the padding there. And you have the flat screwdriver, which is magnetic as well, similar to the small rig ones. Um, yeah, I think I prefer the tilter to the small rig ones. In terms of weight, maybe the small rig one is a fraction lighter. I can't tell the difference. They all seem to be around the same weight. And just to show, this is the locating pin. So you have the quarter inch 20 and the locating pin there for the camera. So I think anyone who makes camera cages for GH6 should definitely have that. And I would say they could even have the screws for both sides on the eyelets to make it extra secure. I'm not sure whether that's necessary, but two sides, you know, it can just be better, it can't be worse. I've looked at some other cages as well. So Condor Blue has a cage, but one of the things about their cages is that the cages screw together. So for example, they have a left side, a top side, and all of those screw together. Whereas when, with the small rig cages and tilter cages, or most of the tilter cages anyway, I, I don't know about the GH5 tilter cage. I think that one also had screws, but the one piece of metal. So you don't need to worry about screws coming loose or having to assemble it or anything like that. So that I, I wouldn't buy a camera cage if it's not one piece of metal. And there is another company, I think they're called Zakuto. They also have nice camera cages, but again, their cage is not one piece, but they do have some interesting stuff. For example, they have with the NATO rail, instead of going in this direction, in the horizontal or in, in the same direction of the camera, it goes forward. And there are some advantages and disadvantages to that, obviously. So for example, the handle can easier come off if you're moving the, your top handle up or down, but the advantages, for example, you can put your handle further forward. So if you have something like the audio device for the GH6, then with that hat setting, putting the handle further forward, make sure that it doesn't interfere with the audio device. So the thing is, I do have the audio adapter for the GH6, but I haven't demonstrated how to put it on because I think if you use the audio adapter, then attaching things on top here will be quite difficult, irrespective of how you do it. But maybe I should attach it and show how that looks. Okay, just to show how the audio adapter actually sits on the, with the cage, I'm gonna try to see whether they can be used. So I'm gonna go for the tilt one first. Okay, so with the tilter one, you can see that it goes into place. This is the position that it's in. Now the question is, can you use a handle with this? And obviously you can get specialized handles, but let me see if it works with the default handle that tilter provides. So this is the tilter handle that comes with this cage. No, this is definitely not going to work. So. You can see already that it's not gonna, it's not gonna, you know, be able to move in there. Let me actually try it from this side. It actually might be better to show this. Yeah, it's blocked. So I think if you want to use the tilter cage with this, it's fine, but you can't put the handle on top there. Or if you want to have a top handle, then you need to make sure you get a specialized one that's shaped in a particular way or add something that comes out. And I think this is something that the Zakuta cage deals with. That has, you know, a bit coming forward so you can attach your handles. 
So the handle is out of the question, in my opinion, if you're using this, unless you're willing to go through extreme measures to get the right kit or the right top handle and not just the right top handle, but also things to attach to the cage to for it to sit. So with the small rig one, again, you won't be able to attach a handle here, but I think small rig has a particular handle for this audio adapter with the GH6. So you could get that handle, but when I looked at the handle, it seemed that the handle was in two pieces and it stretches up. So I'm just worried about it having play and everything not being, you know, quite nice and sturdy. And also they have this cheese plate that comes above it. So there are options from small rig that you can purchase separate items to add it. So the audio adapter is fine with, with the GH6, but as long as you don't want to connect anything on top of the camera. So this is another reason why the small rig cage becomes a problem. So if you have this adapter and it's covering this part here, you can't attach anything there. So the only thing you have left is really a small cold shoe here. Whereas with the tilter cage, you have two cold shoes on either side. And in addition to the, those two cold shoes, you also have a quarter inch 20 here. So there's two more options to attach things. And you have things on the front as well, which you don't have on the small rig cage. So let me do it for this, for the, for this really bad cage as well, just to show whether it works. Yeah, I mean, you have the, it has the place for again for the, uh, the audio adapter to go in, but you need a specific top handle. But again, the advantage so this cage, even though it's really it doesn't fit the camera which is a different problem. It has three quarter inch 20 screws here and a cold shoe on this side as well. So you still have some mounting points to mount different things. Maybe not a top handle, but you have some more options there. So even though I've said a lot of bad things about this small rig 3784, if they fix the design so that it actually fits the camera, and lets the battery door open, and they add something for the anti-twist, to add an anti-twist pin there, then I think this would be actually a good camera cage. And in some sense, it would even be better than the black mambo cage, because it would have additional points to mount stuff. So yeah, I would order them in this, in this fashion. The tilter one is the best one, then the small rig black mambo cage, and then last is the small rig three, seven, eight, four. But I would say this cage is so bad if you can't open the battery door that it's not worth buying even if it's cheap and it's not worth using until they actually fix this problem. So the real options really are just a small rig black mamba and the tilter. Now the one thing I wanted to say about the pricing of these, the small rig black mamba cost me more than the tilter basic kit which comes with this uh, handle and this as well as this tilter handle so tilter cage the bad small rig cage the tilter handle that comes with the cage and this handle as well as whatever peripherals came with the tilter cage cost me less than the small rig black mamba cage and its top handle Although I must mention that I bought these on sale, whereas the Black Mamba, I think I just bought it on the default price, whatever that was. So it just goes to show if you can time your purchases, you can get better items for much cheaper than lower quality items. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions about any of these cages or if you want me to demonstrate something with an adapter or uh, other peripherals apart from the audio device or anything else.